Welcome to Employment Law This Week. I'm George Whipple. With President-elect Biden's inauguration next week and the Democrats taking a narrow majority in both houses of Congress, we're likely to see shifts in policy at the agencies that regulate employment. Epstein Becker Green's Robert O'Hara is here with some insight into what we're likely to see coming out of the EEOC in the near term and how the change in party control could affect the agency moving forward. The EEOC chair and vice chair positions currently held by Republicans will likely change hands. The incoming president can make this change with the stroke of a pen and usually does. The chair does set the agenda and manages the permanent staff, but new initiatives will need some Republican support. Because the EOC votes on all initiatives, there will not be any significant changes in the near term on policy unless there is a bipartisan compromise. The EEOC has been working on various guidance initiatives. For example, the EEOC will vote on new guidance on religious discrimination claims on January 15th. This guidance was developed over the past year, but it advanced on a straight party line vote, which will likely be repeated on the final guidance vote. The EEOC may work to try to move on enforcement guidance for sexual harassment prevention, which has been stalled for many years. This could be an area of bipartisan compromise. Likewise, there could be new LGBTQ initiatives based on recent Supreme Court rulings in this area. They could also revisit pay equity, another priority of the incoming administration, even though the prior pay data collection and reporting requirements through the EEO1 form have been shelved for at least a year. California has already implemented its own version. Finally, EEOC may pull back on recent policies related to working with other enforcement agencies, such as the Departments of Labor and Justice. These policies were also implemented on a party line vote, but now that the other agencies will have new leadership, EEOC may rethink the arrangements. Employers will see changes in other executive agencies long before things change at EEOC. As an enforcement agency, the EEOC is obligated to adhere to any changes for the laws that they enforce. Modifications to some of these statutes are now more likely with a Democratic Senate majority, albeit a slim one. It remains to be seen how a new chair and the general counsel will work together. Will they find common cause or will they disagree about litigation strategies? Thanks, Bob, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.